I decided to do something new for once here, and I'm just going to uh, show the figure for the accessories. So we're just going to take his little poncho off and look at the figure. So the head sculpt um, looks pretty good. You know, uh, i got to say, it it definitely resembles the actor. Oh, yeah, i got to remove that. That is another one of his clips you can add to his gun. Um, so, the articulation is really good. Um, no double-jointed elbows, unfortunately, or the, uh, single-jointed, uh, no, no, fucking, um, pinless, but the double-jointed elbows are really good on this guy. Um, and they go up about that far. They're some of the best I've seen in more recent figure. The dumbbell joint is damn near perfect up pretty high, you can go down, he has a great head tilt, I mean it's just phenomenal, uh, double jointed knees, is that about that far, you can do the splits, there's a swivel there, nice and smooth ankle joints, ankle pivot, and there, um, very nice detail on the arm, and I do like the addition of the teddy bear. Um, it's not very well detailed, but you get a closer look at that. It's still nice to see on the figure. All right, let's take a look at his accessories. So like I had already shown, here is his uh, poncho type thing. Uh, it does go on Mando, uh, if you're wondering. Uh, it looks okay. You know, I'm going to actually see how this looks on like Snake Eyes or Taskmaster or something if you... Uh, I'll test that later. Uh, he's got his big ass gun here, which he has two clips for, which I really like. Where the fuck is that other clip? Here it is. So here's this gun uh, here, which I thought was a shotgun, but it looks like it's a grenade launcher clip, I think. And you can attach effects to this if you want. Uh, basic, very basic detail on the gun. And then here's a flashlight, I believe, attachment. Or you can just take it off. And then he comes with a pistol. Very basic. New gun, though. I mean, it's new. Pretty sure. And then he's got two sets of fists. One with the metal, and then one with the skin tone. Uh, all right, let's look at some... Uh, Comparison. Here is Cable next to Taskmaster and Thanos. Here is Cable next to Daredevil and Moon Knight. Here is Cable next to the McFarlane Toys Joker and Azrael. Here is Cable next to Vader, Mando, and the Child. So yeah, you guys can find this guy. I definitely recommend it. I, I'd say it's a good buy. My Walmart had about five of them. My guess they had about six or seven in the case. Um, I was surprised to find him. He was in like the corner. He was not on the shelf as much as he was just on the bottom row of the shelf. He like wasn't hanging or anything. Um, like I almost missed it. I was like literally right after I said, well, that was a disappointment because I actually thought I was going to find something today. I uh, looked down and I'm like, oh, look at you. And I was like, holy shit, there he is. So uh, I bought him. Um, finally, though, there's some new figures. Because um, I've seen there's been quite a drought in my area. Uh, besides Vader, I really haven't found anything. I've been looking for the new Mando and I just can't find it. But uh, that'll be our next review. And then the Vader, I filmed the review of. Haven't been able to post it yet, but I will be. That is done, and uh, it'll hopefully be up tomorrow. And then, uh, well, the Joker's Stop Motion series is done filming. Filmed the first episode, finally, after saying it was going to come out in June, and then July, and then it was indefinite, and I should have just said August, but I know if I said August, it'd be fucking September. It should be out Friday. Uh, Friday or maybe Thursday night. Um, depends next time I have my friend over. I'm gonna see if I can help me with some editing. 
Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support, and uh, bye.